When Pope Francis visits Romania in late May, he hopes to set off a spiritual wind that will blow from the east and into Europe. The pontiff will also try to rebuild chilled relations between Romania's Catholic and Orthodox communities. The Holy Father has worked throughout his papacy to increase interreligious dialogue. In Romania, he'll be in a land where over 80% of the population is Eastern Orthodox and Catholics account for less than 5%. Here to talk more about Pope Francis's plan to thaw orthodox relations is national correspondent for the tablet and crux, Christopher White. Christopher, thank you so much for being here with us. Now, we know that the Pope does not travel arbitrarily. So what is the significance of Pope Francis deciding to visit a country with so few Catholics? Well, I think we, we've known Pope Francis is the Pope of the peripheries. He likes to go to places that we don't necessarily think of that he would travel to. And what we're seeing with him going to uh, Romania is that he's going to a place where less than 5% are Catholic, mm -hmm. and he wants to let them know they're not alone, that he has their back, he's there with them. Let's talk about the numbers. There is a larger Eastern Orthodox presence in Romania than a Catholic one, which you just stated. What is the current status of Catholic and Orthodox relations? It was back in the 90s, Pope John Paul II was quite close with the patriarch at the time. However, following his death, those relationships have, have suffered. And what, what Pope Francis really wants to do is sort of, you know, give them a shot in the arm, help them sort of pray together, go to each other's religious services mm -hmm. so they can be one body. Now, d besides this ecumenical relations aspect of it. What else can we expect the Pope to touch on during this ver very short trip, actually? Yeah, I think we're going to hear the Pope talk a lot about uh, a rejection of a consumeristic culture. There's a lot of corruption in Romania, and I think he wants to address that. And also the plight of migration, as it's sort of been uh, a very sort of busy conduit of uh, flow of migrants into Europe. So I think those are going to be two other pressing concerns on this trip. Is this the kind of trip you think Pope Francis is going to be taking more over the course of this year? Yeah, I think we're going to see a number of these sort of popcorn trips mm -hmm. to sort of pop into these <laughs> countries. So I, I think, we, you know, lots of that to look forward to. All right, Christopher, thank you. That's a great way to put it. Always great to have a conversation with mm -hmm. you.